Hi, I'm Fig. Welcome to my studio. Come see what I do. Today, I'm gonna to show you about glass rings. Here are these glass beads that I make that are in the shape of a circle. And what I do is I cut a glass rod into a section and I bend it into a round circle. I have these glass rods that I made by uh, taking solid colors and twisting them up with other solid colors and clear colors and made twisty rods. And I'm going to use a twisty rod to make into my ring. So what I'm going to do is take these tile nippers, take a couple inches and squeeze off a nice little chunk that I'm now going to turn this into a ring. Now, you could use ring sizers if you wanted to make it fit a specific finger. This will be kind of a smallish ring, probably more of a bead, um, but some people do that. These are more comfortable if you could wear a bunch of them because they're round and they spread your fingers. But if you wear like three or four of them, they work really cool. Anyways, I digress. I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply some heat to it. So I'm going to put on a little gas, a little sparky sparky and boom i got me a fire i'm gonna add a little oxygen make it a nice tight flame and then with my tweezers i'm gonna hold on to one end of this rod and i'm gonna paint the flame up and down that rod adjust my fire okay so I have this other two millimeter clear rod, which I'm gonna use as a punty or an attachment to bridge my hand onto that twisty rod that I'm painting the flame on. So I'm gonna heat that punty rod up and I'm gonna tag it right in the middle of this twisty rod. So now I've made the letter T. I'm gonna to continue to paint the flame onto the twisty rod. Um, the thing is, if I heat up this punty rod, the whole thing flops around on me, so I don't want to heat up right here where I'm connected. But I still want to paint the flame up and down this rod and then flip it over and get the other side without actually heating up that spot. So what I'll do is I'll bring my hand behind the flame so now this twisty is facing me and that attachment is in the shadow of the of this twisty and not getting exposed to direct flame light that allows me to heat up right in the middle and because I'm holding my hand above what I'm melting it starts to bend and it creates a, a U shape this arc right here opposite that attachment of the punty is critical the mistake some people might make is in avoiding heating this up in the center and not allowing it to bend, they would heat up over here and over here and have a straight and then a bend and a bend. And I need this arc to be opposite that. So I create the letter Y. So from a T to the Y, I'm going to concentrate the flame on just one leg. And I'm using gravity to my advantage. And I'm very clever about where the flame goes, so it continues that arc. And I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side here. The gravity continues arcing it, or I can nudge it with my tweezers. So now I have a nice arc, but the two ends of each arc is a straight line, straight line. So I need to bend those straight lines. If I grab the twisty with the tweezers, I'm going to impart tweezer marks on my ring. And that's ugly. So instead of grabbing it, I'm going to get behind on the, the end. And I'm pushing in this direction. Pushing. And it causes this to sway back. I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to heat up that little leg right there. And I'm going to get back in the flat spot and push, create that sway. So it continues the arc. Right, so now I'll go ahead and heat up 
the whole ring, especially trying to heat up all the way around. And that allows me to squeeze those two ends together. As soon as I get the two heels touching, I'm going to get on either side and press, pressing this way to get those two flat surfaces to come together. Once they're relatively together, I know it's an ugly shape, I'm going to go ahead and weld that joint. And you can see the glass flow towards each other. And it did. It became a liquid, and it's one fell circle. At this point, I'm going to make my flame bigger. I'm going to use a bigger torch so I can heat up more of the ring at the same time. And I'm going to use a reamer tool. And it's, now it's about making the glass gather and get thicker and drawing it out. I go into the inside of the ring and that stretches that thick glass. It's drawing it out, but it looks thin there and there. So I'm going to have to heat up this whole area. I'm going to leave this area cold so it acts like a bridge and keeps every, a bracket that keeps everything together. And I'll work on that one side and allow the glass to get thicker just by melting it. And surface tension makes it bigger and I'm flopping it around letting gravity maintain that circle. It's nice. Now I'm going to thicken up that thin spot. It's subtle but it makes a difference. I'm leaving this side cold so it acts like a bracket and holds things together. I'm using gravity. Got a little thick in the middle there so I can but also rub it. So we push that thin area towards each other. I don't want to I rub, I don't want to push in one spot and create a dent. And you could futz with this all day long. Um, it might become a little potato chippy, so I might have flat mashes so I can gently squeeze it or I can pat, rub it on a paddle. And that flattens it. And um, depending on how anal retentive you are, you could futz with this all day long. Um, I'm just looking for flat spots, spots that aren't round, or thick and thin areas. <clears throat> Make the thin areas thick. It's a lot of times the solution to your problems. Going in the center is like intuitive, but you're stretching things out, and that works for making thick areas thin, but it also makes thin areas thinner. All right, so now I need to put this in the oven to cool off. So I'm just going to gently warm my tweezers, maybe go back to a small flame. So my tweezers aren't ice cold. And I'm going to grab all the way across the ring and I'm just going to knock it off. The punty, there's a little belly button, could go right into the flame. And then I'm just going to chuck this in the kiln. Thanks for stopping by.